about 10.3. And 10.3 should be very familiar. It's going to be talking about the translations that we've already discussed. Um, but some of the stuff I want to make sure we understand, and this chart is uh, pretty important for us to, to understand those things. Um, this is just the regular. This is just 10 to the x. So again, if, if you ever want to make a graph, please remember, you can make an x and a y chart. So this one's pretty straightforward. If you put a 1 in, you get 10 out. You put 2 in, you get 100 out. And you'll see that exponential growth happen. Um, please understand this. This is not the same as this. Um, let me try to find a good space. H x equals negative 10 to the x power. Okay, That right there is what we have been discussing with how it would oscillate going up and down. Like if I put an x and a y chart for this one, um, if I put a 1 in, I get a negative 10 out. If I put a 2 in, I get a 100 out. If I put a 3 in, I get a negative 1,000 out. Okay, and it's switching back and forth. This guy right here does not switch back and forth because that, please understand this. I do not want you making the mistake on the test. That is not read as negative 10 to the x. It is read as the opposite of 10 to the x, which means... When you put a 1 in, you get a negative 10 out because you go negative. So you take this and you raise 10 to the first power, then do the negative sign. If you put a 2 in, you put a 2 here, you take 10 to the second power, which is 100, and then do the negative, which is a negative 100. We've, I've been preparing you that all year long. So please understand what that means. This has the negative exponent. And if you look down here, it's showing you the different graphs of what they inputs and outputs they get. But again, if they ever ask you to make a graph of something, even if they ask you to translate it, um, you can just make a graph X and Y chart uh, to, to make the graph. Um, so those are some important things. Here's the negative uh, exponent with the negative uh, opposite of the 10. So um, there's some information that you might want to read through to look at what's going to happen and study these. Remember, we're studying the behaviors of these graphs. We're trying to understand what, you know, based on what I see, how I can uh, figure out. It talks about it being transformed, uh, uh, transformation of the over reflection over the x-axis. This is uh, if you have, so notice when it's out here, the negative, it's over the x-axis. When it's inside, it's over the y-axis. Remember, that's that reflection that we've, we've seen before. Uh, it talks about the asymptotes. Notice the asymptotes are still all the same. Um, increasing, decreasing. Um, so those kind of topics. Um, and then the other thing that I really just want to go through quickly is this guy. We've already done this, so this, this lesson should be fairly quick. If it is, uh, if you have A out here, that is going to be um, your vertical shift. B in here is going to be your horizontal shift. And remember, if it's uh, 0 to 1, then this one is a compression. If it's greater than 1, then it is a uh, stretch. But in here for B, if it's 0 to 1, this is the stretch. And if it's greater than 1, then it's actually the compression. Remember, inside those parentheses kind of does everything the opposite of what we were, uh, we think. So um, those are the, the stretches and compressions, horizontal versus vertical. Uh, remember, this is moves it left and right and the opposite way you think. This moves it up and down uh, the way you think. So those are going to be the things that they talk about in this, where you're going to shift them left and right, make some X and Y tables. Um, remember, if you move stuff to the right, that's only going to affect the X. If you move it to the up and down, it's going to affect the Y. So they're talking about how they can take these reference points and move them based on, uh, since I know that this is a plus 1 inside, that is going to move it left 1. So notice all the X is changed by minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1 to this X. Uh, the Y's still stay the same. Uh, so we've talked about that all year long. This should be a fairly quick chapter. We've talked about domain and range at extent. Uh, you know, an extent we've talked about domain is always what is your X can be, what your Y can be. If I have an asymptote, remember, it's not going to be able to cross that, so it's got to be bigger than zero because it can't touch it. Uh, this is going to shift it up one, so you notice all the Y's are going to be adding one to them. Uh, we, again, have talked about this over this whole year. 
uh, doing this kind of stuff. Um, going to be down five, so all the Ys are going down by five. Don't be afraid to subtract by fractions. They've got to have common denominators. You can make those. Um, this guy right here is going to be a, uh, that's going to be the horizontal, and it's actually going to be um, the inverse of what you do here. Uh, so, we've, like I said, we've talked about each one of these things. Um, this guy is going to be the vertical stretch, greater than one. Um, All right, analyze the graph. We know that this negative is going to flip it, um, and this is going to move it to the right two. Um, this is going to flip it over the y-axis, and it's going to move it up four. Right? We we've talked about all these, so it's just practice using them. This is going to be a vertical stretch of two, and move it down three. Um, so just going through each one of those. There shouldn't be anything new from this section. I try to keep this uh, video short. Just make sure you go through, re-look at some of those things. Uh, the transformation should be the same throughout each section. Okay, have a good weekend, guys.